So, Dijanae posed the question on Twitter today. <laughs> Tired of me yet? Uh, I don't think you really want to know the answers to that, Dijanae. <laughs> um, but then it got me to thinking, and I was like, hmm. Maybe I'm wrong, man. Maybe I got to look at this from a different angle. The WNBA ratings for the playoffs have been down from the Caitlin Clark ratings, but they've been up from their past ratings without Caitlin Clark. And it got me to thinking, man. They might need Dijanae in the finals. If you think about it. Let's just think about it. The Liberty. They have no sizzle. I mean, nothing. Like, they just don't have any sizzle they're not only are the player do the players not have an exciting game and they're good i like sabrina sabrina's a very good player i like the way she keeps her head down keeps her mouth shut and just balls um brianna stewart is a very good player but <laughs> there's nothing to, she doesn't give you any moments she doesn't give you any you know what I'm saying? She doesn't even give you a yell ah, after a school. Like, she just bland. John Quell Jones, the same thing. Um, they're just a steady, run-of-the-mill team. I mean, as far as sizzle. Now, are they great? Are they good? Yes, they're very good. But, and do they have the New York? Media market, yes, which is a great thing for the WNBA. That's the what that's the thing they bring to the table. New York. You get to see celebrities courtside at the game. It's New York on the jersey. It's New York and everything that comes with New York. But that's it. If you're talking about storylines and sizzle and box office. And then you have Minnesota. <laughs> I mean, Minnesota teams just don't move the needle, man. Um, the last Minnesota team to move the needle was uh, the Twins, man. Back when they had Kirby Puckett and Gary Gaetti and <laughs> Kent Herbeck. And all those guys, man, back in the late 80s and the early 90s. Even when they had KG, man, it was just, it was him, man. And listen, Nafisa Collier is a unit. She's a machine. Her game is insane. She's efficient. She gets the job done. She keeps her head down. She keeps her mouth shut. And she just balls. But there's nothing exciting about them. And if they make the finals and play against the New York Liberty, it's going to be a ratings disaster. A disaster of epic proportion. It's going to be embarrassing. They're going to have to hide those ratings. At least with Dijanae, you get scandal. You get Housewives of the WNBA. So sources say that Christine Brennan has filed a complaint against Dewana Bonner after Bonner challenged her questioning of Dijanae Carrington. <laughs> and now that proved to be a Sarah Spain special. Sarah Spain is one of the most um, disgusting people in sports media. Um, she's a liar. She's just a horrible person. 
Um, I did a video on her yesterday talking about how she dragged Kobe while his body was still on fire um, in 2020. Like she literally was talking about his lowest moments of his life all before the L.A. authorities had put out the fire. Okay, so she was just she's just a horrible person. But um, so she accused Christine Brennan of 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 um, filing a what is it a, a, a complaint against um, Dewana Bonner, and that proved to be inaccurate. Christine Brennan had to check her on that, and. Um, Christine Brennan said, hi, Sarah, this is inaccurate. It is false. I have not filed a complaint. I have not contacted anyone at the league. Your sources are wrong. You and I have had a long and good relationship, which is why I always enjoy speaking with you. Why didn't you call me before posting this? <laughs> so we got all this drama surrounding Dijonay and all this stupid like WNBA stuff over questions and Dijonay has been able to through her latching on to a warm section of Caitlin Clark's coattail she's been able to develop somewhat of a fan base Listen, I mean, she's got more fans than a lot of WNBA players, okay? All right? She's got more fans than a lot of these players. All these fan pages. Um, it's more than a lot of WNBA players have, okay? More than 99% of them. OK. Um, and. She's interesting off the court. Because the product on the court, the WNBA. You don't have it if you don't have the girl that's making insane passes. From every angle full court bounce passes, chest passes, three quarter court chest passes, behind the back passes and shooting threes from the logo. When you, if you don't have her around, the product, even when the girls are playing really well, is not nothing that's going to make you tune in if your team's not playing. Okay, it's nothing that's gonna make you tune in if your team's not playing. So salute to um Dijanae, man. I think she might have um parlayed her latching on to Caitlin Clark's coattail uh to into something where she's actually of all the players left in the league, she's actually the most popular one left in the playoffs. Hey guys, it's Dijon Carrington, and I'm here to read your sweet tweet sponsored by Breeze Airways and Sarasota Bradenton. After watching WNBA this season and trying to get into it so far, I.